go. Three, four. Police found him there, and on the bathroom floor, they found the 20-year-old American girl he'd lived with for two years. Sid Vicious was arraigned today on charges of murder. This is like right out of a Twilight Zone episode. You wake up, there's a knife, a pool of blood, and your girlfriend's in the bathroom stabbed to death. This guy's name was Vicious, supposedly violent. You know, of course he killed his girlfriend. About 12 o'clock, Sid Vicious shot up some heroin. About 2 o'clock, he lay down to go to sleep. Sid is no longer vicious. He's dead. Nobody ever followed up on it. It's like Sid got out, Sid OD'd, end of story. Is that really what happened? There were so many people in the Chelsea in that room that night. None of these people seemed to have told anyone their story. Detective Kilroy was one of the arresting officers when Sid was arrested. As far as he was concerned, Sid had a guilty man written all over him. It was a smoking gun case. People who had been at the party saw her flashing a lot of money around. No money was found in the room. The last magazine interview the pair of them did, they were already telling people they got a suicide pact. What would you like to happen now? I'd like to have fun. Are you having fun at the moment? No, I'm not having fun at all. Where would you like to be? Under the ground. The police all treated this like, who cares? It's just another dead junkie. He was a guy that never saw a red light. Everything was always green. However dangerous. However dangerous. Who killed Nancy? Nancy killed Nancy. Fame killed Nancy Spongebob. It was Rocket's red glare. Obviously not seen. I think he did it in a moment of madness. Oh, my God, I know he didn't. She goes, that Michael guy was crazy. This is the guy I like him, do it. Sid was so stoned, he could not have lifted that knife, much less stabbed somebody with it. And Beverly said to me, do me a favor and make sure that one day the world knows that whatever else my son was, he was not a murderer.